YouTube, it's me, Peanut. Uh, I just want to show you, first shotgun I ever bought was a Stevens Model 320 Security. And I've had this probably about, I don't know, six, seven years maybe. Uh, it is unloaded. Chamber's clear. Uh, I don't use this much. I don't shoot it much. Uh, I bought it because it was cheap. This particular model with the pistol grip came with fiber optic sights on the front. And it came with a ghost ring sight in the rear, which is adjustable for windage and elevation. With just a screwdriver. And it looks like a dime of woodwork or a screwdriver. Um, why did I buy this? Well, like I said, it was cheap. Uh, it, it is made in China, but from the reviews, I read a lot of reviews online. Uh, they said that this was a really good solid shotgun, and uh, I liked it. I liked the looks of it. I liked the pistol grip. You can use it either way. You can use it with the stock and the pistol grip. Or you could use it just like that. Uh, now I got to fix to mine some for contraption I cut off eBay that allowed me to mount my flashlight. Now this is just one of those uh, zoom flashlights that I always have on everything. Uh, I'll have to do a video on these. They zoom out. Uh, they shine really far. They work on a double A. Or I have a 14500 in mine. A 14500 is a rechargeable battery that interchanges with a double A. But you only want to use it in uh, a Cree flashlight, something with an LED. Uh, it makes them a lot brighter and they're rechargeable. Other than that, uh, I would just use a double A. But the flashlight's pretty bright. But enough on that. The shotgun's pretty nice. Uh, it's got a long uh, foregrip. With, uh, you can grab it up here or back here. Uh, this one's a little snug yet. Uh, I, it, it works pretty smooth. Uh, I keep this in my case. I don't use this much, but... Uh, uh, I really like it. One of the things I don't like about it and I don't understand is this cutout in the stock. Uh, it's like that on both sides. I don't understand how to make a sling work with that. Uh, if you know, let me know. If you have a link, someone has a video, I've tried searching. Uh, the owner's manual didn't give me any information. I bought it brand new. Uh, it's usually covered up. By my side saddle with my slugs in but I would like to have a stock on or a sling on this so uh, it does have a sling mount on the front that came standard uh, I believe it's five plus one it will shoot three inch shells it is a Stevens model 320 if I didn't say that it's a security model because it comes with the pistol grip uh, I could have got it without the pistol grip, without the sights, for $199 when I bought it. I think they're a little bit more expensive now. This is a good shotgun. It's a good value price shotgun. I probably put probably only about 50 rounds through this because I just don't shoot it that much. Uh, it just does what it's supposed to do. Uh, it's not a hunting gun. It's a home defense gun, and I just don't go out and target shoot with shotgun. Uh, I got lots of shotguns, and this is one I just don't shoot that much. Uh, I just had to have it though when I bought it. But I have it. I've had it for, like I said, six, seven years. Can't remember exactly when I did buy it. It's a little dusty. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. I own one. I think it's a really good shotgun. Uh, it feels really good. Uh, it's a little nose heavy because this back here is real. It doesn't weigh nothing. Uh, so it's a little nose heavy. 
but that's okay. I mean, it's a shotgun. Uh, a lot of that heft might transfer into lower recoil. I don't really notice the recoil being that bad on this. Uh, my daughter shot this when she was really little. Uh, it was the first shotgun she ever shot, and she had no problems with it. And she was probably 12 at the time, maybe 13. So, uh, just my opinions on it. It's a good shotgun. Uh, are there better options? Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't think the partner protector would be a better option, even though, I mean, that's made in China too. It, it just doesn't have the, uh, the extras that this has. I like the pistol grip, although it makes the, uh, reaching the, the, the release, kind of got to hit that with your thumb, you know, to rack it. Where if it, if it didn't have it, you could just reach your finger over and hit it. So it's a little awkward for that, but I can hit it with my thumb. I like the pistol grip. Pistol grip's nice and and, and firm and thick. It's thin at the top. I can almost put my fingers all the way around it. But down at the bottom, it's thicker. So you really feel like you get a good grip on it. Uh, would I buy it again? Sure would. Uh, like I was saying, uh, the... The partner protector doesn't come with the sights. Uh, it's got a nice fiber optic front sight. If I can get it in there so you can see it. It's green. It's real nice. This you don't need. I just put that on there. Uh, again, if I can get it to the camera. Nice ghost ring rear sight, which again is adjustable. So a shotgun with sights. And a pistol grip, and it was like $220 when I bought it, so it was a good deal. Um, it does have a cross bolt safety, uh, trigger pull, it's trigger. Uh, not much more to say about it except uh, it's a good gun, I like it, I would buy it again uh, if you're thinking about buying one. I wouldn't hesitate. Uh, maybe the Maverick 88 would be a better gun. I don't know. It all comes down to personal choice. The Maverick's made in the USA uh, with Mexican parts, but I think they're both good guns. All depends on what you want. Uh, I actually have them both uh, in a crisis. I don't think I'd grab either one of them. I'd grab my shock, my shockwave. I think <laughs> that's my personal opinion. It's smaller and it's just easier to move around the house uh, for like a home defense situation. Uh, anyway, that's the 320. My opinions. Thanks for watching.